Our aim is to empower young people through the medium of sport to be the best they can. We work along a number of structures. Um, there are some uh, organisations that provide formal uh, qualifications, Sports Leaders UK. Um, but we also believe in empowering every level of child to become a leader so that they can be the best they can. Um, and we try to find as many different settings um, as possible for them to express those leadership skills. I'm one of two for the partnership. I was chosen for my leadership. Uh, it's kind of to promote sport and to promote the Olympics and the values and try and get more people into sport and leading. In my, my secondary school that I work at, we have a Year 7 and 8 Leadership Academy where it's very enthusiastic Year 7 and Year 8 um, students who are very interested in being leaders. They may have come up from their primary school who, with already a young leader qualification or they could just be interested in being part of it at Haraway. And it's a very committed group that come Fridays after school every week. Um, they all come really regularly and we're working towards running multi-skills festivals, they help run events in school and they're just a really enthusiastic group. Well, we're, we're highly active in the community, um, we get as many of our young leaders as possible to volunteer in local settings. Um, young people run activities in the school for other young people, so in the school setting and leaders from our partnership have been involved in our national conferences and events. I help organise conferences and do presentations and speak to children as well as lead myself in clubs and conferences and events. Uh, basically they come back incredibly enthused and normally even more motivated to uh, utilise the skills uh, that they've um, learnt and uh, utilised at the conference itself. I've been to the two that the school hold, the Top Link conferences. I've helped run the Silver Ambassador Conference, which was also held here, as well as I went to Telford for the school, Sports College Conference. Well, but they come because they really have got a high level of leadership. They're really um, keen on leading, and it gives them such a huge sense of confidence. They so enjoy running the festivals for younger children. They just, they just get such a buzz out of doing it. This year there's going to be a festival for, in our school, and I'm hoping to help Matt, our teachers with it. And, um, join in and teach other kids our, the sports that we've learnt today. Okay, wheelchair basketball is an adapted form of basketball for people with mobility issues uh, and in the past we've found that you put an able-bodied person in a chair, they compete and they are able to um, perform probably to a lesser degree than someone who has played in a wheelchair so it's a great leveller and it's completely inclusive. Uh, polybat's an activity that involves people with mobility issues, again, or able-bodied people taking away their mobility and having them undertake a, a game where they um, strike a ball back and forward to each other and attempt to get the ball past the barriers of the other team. Okay, ready? Uh, the table um, cricket game is a, uh, is a game that just involves young people who love cricket, who love the idea of competing in a simple game, but who have major mobility issues. So they're able to play, stood around the table, and also make tactical decisions regarding placing of fielders and where they bowl to. This year there's going to be a festival for in our school, and I'm hoping to help Matt, our teachers with it and um, join in and teach other kids our, the sports that we've learnt today. I think that it's given us an experience that we can tell other people about and get other people excited and get them wanting to get more involved in leadership and sport. Um, what have you got out of it? You enjoyed doing it? I've loved doing it, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs>